as promised, I'm going to bring to you 12 process videos over the course of December that focuses on my class, The Holiday Project, 12 Stories, One Album. And if you recall, this particular class is based upon us finally documenting stories that we haven't documented before in our holiday scrapbooking. In the class, I do recommend to the students that they create a theme for their album. And the theme for my album is going to be childhood memories. If you want to learn more about this class, it's really not too late. You can go to the Victoria Marie um, online class site. The link is posted below in the description section. Um, I also posted a link to my blog. So if you want to come and learn more about the class and participate, you are more than welcome to. The class is selling for $25. It is self-paced. So you can just go through it um, at your convenience and then hopefully um, participate in the 12 stories project. So this is layout number one, this is story number one. And this particular album is really focused on the storytelling. So while I do have the decorative aspect of this and creating the layout, which I'll show you here in just a second, there's also a story that I wanna share with you as well. So this is free to anybody, So, um, that, which is why I want to offer it on my YouTube channel. So those who've taken the class, um, when you take the class, you get the core content to get you set up to do this project. And of course, you can come back and see the videos here on the YouTube channel. So this is story number one. This story is called Santa and Mrs. Claus. And as I mentioned, I am documenting 12 stories from my childhood that center around the holidays. And some of these stories are very joyous. Some of them are very emotional. But they're all stories that I feel that I need to tell in some way. And so I'm creating an album this year that's focused on that. So let me tell you a little bit about this story. Um, as you can see, I've done a lot of journaling. So for this particular layout, um, I'm going to have my journaling on one page and then the layout on another page. So this was me probably back around 1988, 1989. And I was probably, I'd say maybe first grade maybe going in the second grade. I can't remember the exact date. And all I did was I just took a photograph of the photo, of the original photo, because I don't scrapbook original photos. Now, this picture is just a stock picture from Google. And the story is about um, a time when my mother had divorced and my father was an abusive alcoholic. And at the time we lived in Oklahoma, we um, fled to Dallas, Texas to stay with a aunt um, when my mom decided that she needed to get out of the marriage and to protect the both of us. Upon returning back to Oklahoma when she felt it was safe, they went through the divorce proceedings and the whole nine. My mother was struggling financially and really trying to make ends meet. We had moved into a new apartment and trying to get settled and trying to get life back in order. And, um, she had started working at the VA Medical Center in Oklahoma City and had confided in a coworker about all of the struggles and things that she was having providing for me and um, didn't know if she was going to be able to get Christmas together. And that was the first time she had ever really been in that situation. And um, what she didn't know was a little bit of Christmas magic was about to happen. Um, one December evening, my mom told me that we were having some special guests come to the house and I heard knocking and jingle bells on the door and lo and behold, it was Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. Now this isn't the two individuals who dressed up as Mr. and Mrs. Claus, this isn't them. Again, this is a stock picture. So in any event, uh, my mom says, well, open the door, Vicki. And so I opened the door and there they were um, ringing jingle bells and they carried with them, um, oh goodness, I can't tell this story without tearing up. So please, <laughs> please excuse me if I sound a little emotional. They came bearing gifts and groceries for us. And uh, Santa said, I heard you've been a very special girl this year. Um, we brought some goodies, do you wanna see them? And so they came inside into our apartment and we talked and um, I got to open up a couple of presents and, and whatnot and I could see the tears in my mom's eyes. Um, she knew that someone was gonna come to the house. She was told that um, someone was gonna come with something special for us and you know, what time would she be? available, but she didn't know it was going to be um, two of her co-workers who were dressed up as Mr. and Mrs. Claus, who had um, who had, make, had taken a collection to uh, get us groceries and to get me toys. So all of these years, I've carried that experience in my heart because um, there's so many families who are in need and so many families who struggle for whatever reason. And those two individuals um, 
made it possible for my mom to be able to provide Christmas for me that year. And I learned from that experience at a very young age how important it is to give back and to be grateful for what we have and to humble ourselves and to allow people to help when we need it most. And it's just funny that God just kind of puts people in your life when you need them. So this story I decided to start out with because it is the most vivid story in my mind of my childhood during that time. It was definitely a difficult time for my mom and I, and um, it deserved a space in my storytelling journey. So needless to say, this is not the exact picture of me during that time. This was a little school picture <laughs> with my little jerry curl and this little awful bow in my hair. <laughs> anyway, so that was me. And then again, I put I just printed off a stock picture from Google to represent that Mr. And Mrs. Claus came. Now, one of the things I do mention in the class is that when you're pulling together your story, so if you're a student who's taken this class, or if you're considering taking a class, or maybe taking this particular class, or you're doing some of your holiday documenting, and you don't have a photo, it's okay to have a photo replacement or a photo stand in that symbolizes your story. So don't let the lack of not having an actual photo keep you from telling the story. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and speed up the video so you can watch me put this layout together. So the first thing I did was I typed out my journaling and it reads, you know, just exactly what I just narrated about the story. Then my co my mom's co-workers came and they were Santa and Mrs. Claus. And I'm showing you just a little bit of the elements that I'm using. A lot of what I'm using this year comes from two kits that I used last year. It was a Scraptastic Kit Club kit that is no longer available. And then um, also an Allie Edwards kit from 2015 because I did do December daily. And so I'm using a lot of those elements. I did purchase the Hip Kit Club um, Christmas kit as well. It's actually their November kit, but it's Christmas inspired. And um, I have two videos on the channel that show the materials that I'm using. I'll go ahead and link to that below so you can check that out. So a lot of what I'm using for this layout came from the, uh, oh goodness, was it Tis This? No, no, no. <laughs> it was called Christmas Wishes. I was getting them mixed up. Some of these collections are named similar. And that was by Pink Fresh Studio. So everything for this layout um, is from that collection. That washi tape, I want to say, is recollection. So I wanted to do a bit of embellishing there on the journaling page. And so I put a strip of washi tape, which I'm going to shorten that here um, in just a few. And then I'm using some die cuts, or that Joy die cut, and that is from the Christmas Wishes collection, I believe from uh, Pink Fresh Studio. And then I am using a little puffy sticker from this year's Hip Kit Club, which I love. And now I'm looking at my Allie Edwards stamps from last year. And I choose two stamps that says December Gratitude. And I can't remember if that stamp came adhered together when I originally got it or if I cut it um, to separate the stamp. I may have just cut it to separate the stamp, but who knows. So I'm using some um, VersaFine Black Ink to stamp that on. So it reads December Gratitude there at the top. And as I've mentioned, a lot of my layouts will feature robust journaling, um, like you see there, in some way. Because I really wanted an opportunity to flesh through the stories. Now I am using some sequin from the Hip Kit Club. And I wanted to sprinkle just some of those there at the bottom to add a little bit more interest and some texture. And I'm going to call that page good. So there's the the stamping and then the embellishing there at the bottom that looks really pretty now I'm going to focus my attention here on the layout with the photos I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the Santa and Mrs. Claus photo so I can stick the photo of myself to that hold that in place then I want to mount both of these photos on frames there's a blue and white frame and then a red and white striped frame and I want to say both of those were from my stash I believe so I'm going to get those nice and adhered to the back, having a hard time picking that frame up. There we go. Good to go. Now what I want to do is figure out how I want to embellish towards the bottom. I'm going to add just a bit more there to the photo cluster. So I'm going to cut this little tab, in, or I guess it's not a tag, it's more of a label. It says holiday fun. I'm going to adhere that to the left hand side of my little photo cluster there. I want to mount all of that on some foam tape or adhesive foam rather, and then get that stuck down to the base of my layout. I love that pattern paper and I've been hoarding it since last year. And I said, you know what? This is the year to use it. All right, so I'm gonna take that label and it says Christmas magic. 
I'm going to cut a fishtail in it and trim it down um, on the other end because it's just a bit too long. And I'll layer that over that photo of me. Now that photo is not actually a Christmas photo. It was a school photo. So I thought about printing it in black and white, but since the dress was red, I thought it was perfect for um, this layout. Now I'm going to grab that little present die cut and then a flare that says um, wonderful. This little deer as well. That's from the Christmas Wishes collection. And then the little vellum presents were from a Scraptastic kit from last year, the holiday kit. Using that up. And I'm thinking about putting that dove there, but um, I changed my mind. So I'm going to pop up the deer a little bit at the bottom so that he lays uh, nicely over the photo since the photos are popped up on foam as well. I'm going to hear that little um, label down that I trimmed up. Doing just a tiny bit of uh, layering there. And then I find this little circle heart, or the circle that has a heart printed on it, <laughs> a little red heart rather. And I'm trying to decide where I want to put it. And I didn't want it to, I didn't want it to look like it was stuck to the deer's bottom. <laughs> so I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out a good place to put that little circle. Now I am going to sprinkle some of the sequin on the layout. Again, that came from the Hit Kit Club. Very beautiful sequin. Love it. And I think I'm good there. I'm going to adhere that just with my Tombow Mono. I think I cut away from that. Now I'm going to work on my title. I'm going to use a, a combination of a few things. I'm going to abandon this label here in just a second because it just doesn't look right. But I am going to use a Thickers uh, font set from the Dear Lizzie collection. It's called Woodland. And I bought like four packs of those last year because I love them so much. And I want the title, the title is eventually going to read Believe in Santa and Mrs. Claus. So I'm going to use the woodland to spell out Santa and Mrs. Claus. And then here in a second, I'm going to grab this ampersand. And that is from the Christmas Wishes collection by Pink Fresh Studio, just to kind of break up the title visually. And then of course, I'm spelling out Mrs. Claus there. And then I find a die cut. I'm pointing to that in just a second. It says believe. I'm going to write in the word in. So believe in Santa and Mrs. Claus is how that's going to read. Works good for me. Now I need to add the year. So I'm going to take some of these Pebbles um, sticker fonts and spell out 1989. And I'm going to put that to the right side of my photo cluster here in just a second. There we go. I was having a hard time trying to um, backdate <laughs> this story. Um, but, you know, I got it. It's good. It's not an exact date, but at least I know uh, what year it was approximately, and that's all that matters. All right, so I shortened up that washi tape a bit because it was a little bit too long. And here is the finished layout. So what I will do in this series is I will continue to post videos of all the layouts that I make for the holiday album. If you were interested in taking this class, it is still available. It is a self-paced class, so you don't have to rush through it and you can really take your time going through the process. All right, all of the links are posted below if you want some more information and I'll see you guys next time.